50% of veterans with sleep apnea also have asthma. Surprising. What's not surprising is that the VA does not like to give these two conditions separate ratings. They're both high-value claims. 30-60% for asthma, 50% for sleep apnea. They're going to try to combine them on you. The VA has regulations in place for respiratory conditions. Unfortunately for veterans suffering from both asthma and sleep apnea, they have a special regulation in place for being rated for multiple respiratory conditions. That regulation is 38 CFR 4.96, and it states that when a veteran has their claim approved and is granted service connection for multiple respiratory conditions, they will be given a rating only for the predominant condition. According to the VA, this does not mean the condition with the most severe symptoms but rather the condition that may receive the highest possible rating. Part of your strategy, right? You want to learn more about strategy, 4D chess kind of stuff? Check out my boot camp at combatcraig.com. Let's do some legal beagle stuff. Let's take a look at the law. 38 CFR 4.96A prohibits the assignment of separate evaluations for coexisting respiratory conditions rated under 38 CFR 4.97, Diagnostic Codes 6600 through 6817, and 6822 through 6847. Asthma is Diagnostic Code 6602. Sleep apnea is Diagnostic Code 6847. So if approved for both asthma and sleep apnea, you'll get the greater percentage only. So here's an example. If you're prescribed a CPAP machine and you win the sleep apnea part, uh, that's a 50% rating. If you won 30% for asthma, you're not going to get 50 and 30. They're just going to give you the higher of the two, which is going to be 50% for sleep apnea. Now, this is actually not a bad strategy to uh, to deploy here. I mean, there's worse for sure um, when you're dealing with two high value claims. The reason why is asthma is now a presumptive condition and they don't like to give out sleep apnea ratings. They're fighting it. They want to change the law about it. So if you were to file these two together, uh, you don't need the nexus for the asthma if you're a Gulf War veteran. And if you do happen to win the sleep apnea, then you'll get the higher of the two ratings. If you need to appeal your VA claim, check out Hill and Potten at hillandpotten.com. See if they can help you out. Also, if you're at Camp Lejeune between 53 and 87, you may be eligible for additional benefits. Links for both of those are in the description. Don't forget to sign up for my boot camp if you want to learn more about my process, which is the VA claims process. You're going to need medical evidence to win your VA claim. If you're missing a diagnosis, severity of your symptoms, or a nexus, and your doctor won't do it for you, send an email to Second Strata and see if they can help you with your missing medical evidence.